So we've got ourselves Odengard. I thought, you know what, we've got to give him a go. 94 rated centre mid with Tiki Taka, incisive pass and also finesse shot. And to be honest, he looks relatively cheaper than what I kind of imagined. I was shocked to think that he isn't actually even in the team, but I mean, at least he's given an SBC at the very minimum. So 94 rated, he's going to be compared massively with someone like a Havertz and obviously the rest of the midfield. So we've got a five star, four star left foot, can play centre mid or cam. His obvious play style plus is we've gone over. He's got pinged pass, whipped, dead ball, first touched flare, traveller and technical as the others. And in terms of stats, very attacking focus, which is what we could have imagined from said cam as such if we was to go somewhere for the anchor on him we'd be looking 93 pace 81 defending 85 physical so he still could make that work really well like we know he's got the dribbling already down to a t everything above 90 passings everything's above 90 and even shooting penalties i'm not too fussed about so it's really only the volleys that is 89 everything again above the 90s so he should be a relatively decent card that you can get done for is this even updated? I don't even know if that's updated yet. So we haven't got him in here yet. So we'll kind of see where that rating or price is coming in at. But you've got a 90, an 89, an 88, an 87, and an 86 to do. So let's just jump into him and see what he can do for me. So if you're looking to improve your team, make sure you're heading over to lootbar.gg. They are the best and most reliable coin service you can find. Also with the best 24 hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using the code JT11, 8% off your first ever transaction and then 5% off every time after that. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed. Also with the code, you'll be able to get 5% more coins on every transaction. Make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below. So he has got a big expectation on him because Phil Foden as well from that sort of cam uh, type is unbelievable. Now, the pricing is going to be massively different because Phil Foden's still coming in at 2.8. Whereas I, I don't feel like Odengard's probably, I don't think he should be over a million coins. I I'd probably say anywhere between like the 600. Could be totally wrong because obviously I've not really looked at the price as of yet. And I don't even know what a 90 rated squad is really looking like at the moment. So it could be most definitely a lot more expensive than first four. But judging from the SBCs, I don't think he's crazy expensive if I'm looking uh, in comparison to someone like Havertz. Now Havertz is only really up that level because he is a live SBC, which is fair enough. Oh, that's a great ball in. That's a stunning challenge from Ronald uh, from Ronaldinho. Oh, no way at him through from Virgil van Dijk. I suppose the only drawback to a card like him is, is the fact that he can play that kind of centre mid role, but he is going to be more better at the attacking, getting the passes in. Obviously, the incisive pass is going to do its work there. It's He's not going to be a DM. He's, he's kind of more switched to a cam more so than anything, as we know from the defensive ability there. But I do think he could definitely play a centre mid role that is got a DM in it. So how I kind of play well, at the minute, I kind of normally, well, I used to use Zidane quite a lot with obviously like a Puti Ellis in the middle there, which obviously worked really well. Why on earth bring him down there? But I don't think we didn't have any penalties, did we? How was that only a yellow card as well? We've got, where on earth is he? 90, 91, 90. So yeah, it is literally just penalties he can't do. So that is the only thing, unfortunately, as we just get that in. I am banking on the fact as well when it comes to a lot of these cards, like with Alvarez yesterday. That's a shot. Like Alvarez yesterday, he was like, what, four or 500. I think he was rough. I think he might have been a little bit cheaper than what Odengard's coming in as. But I am banking the fact that maybe we see a Premier League team of the season evolution where it is just based on some of the Premier League that we've got. So like a Watkins could go in, maybe not a Haaland, but we could get an extra rating on one of them, maybe even make him into a cheeky 5-5. Five -five. I was kind of hoping that's going to come in because then that would be really good for these SBCs. Not only having then the card itself, but then having a lovely upgrade as well just adds them as one better. So I'm kind of banking on that. You don't obviously have to do it until it's out and you can kind of see because more than likely we will see it once the team is still in packs. I don't imagine them to do the evolution, then uh, kind of out of packs do it. So we will know before the SBCs up if there is going to be one. Can we get him in the middle here? Apparently not. What on earth was that pass? 
good ball control. Looking for that left foot across goal. I feel like you've got a bit of that. What we got? We got 93 long shot, 90 power. Definitely should have the capabilities of a, of a goal from there. Going to find him in here. Little turn onto his right. It's going to be a seconds from Sammy Kerr and she misses out as well. Oh, he's making the run in, but Virgil, strength-wise, is just not there at all. Can we get a little bit into there? Get the left foot turn. Good. Go for the shot, and Odengard's easily got that. It's open, and he's got a left foot to shoot with it. That is where we want him, in and around that box, just outside. Kind of like what Foden was doing yesterday. He's just really good as that kind of secondary attack. Is this guy not playing? Is, is, is he had enough? Are we, are we, oh, no, he's left. Seeing the ball out. Oh, referee. I feel like that's a bit of obstruction if I've ever seen it. Can we get it back up, though? Looking for the support run. Trying to get it back to him. It's when you've kind of got him matched with a, a CDM, like an Essien-type character. He's most definitely going to have to dribble around him to, to really find his mark. So we find an Mbappe. Good incisive. Gets the ball roll, and it's buried. That is what we want. And that's kind of... The way with Odengard, and, and it is with a lot of the cams, it is very much on the, the, the dribbling more than anything. And you've just got to kind of not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone because the physicality of Odengard is, is not going to be there. Like that That's a given, and it's the same with wingers, to be honest. You, you've got the pace for a reason. You can't just run blindly in the same in the same pattern because they will get it easily and know exactly where you're going with it as we find them in here. Can we get something? He's got the finesse as well, so I need to utilize that as well if we get outside the box also. Good interception. Ooh, drag it. There. Oh, Essien just in time. Thought we might have been able to get the shot off first. Good interception. And we move it. Damn. Can we get it back, though? Essien's going to try and dribble around Odengard himself this time. Good tackle. Get a bit of defensive duty on. He's obviously got the passing traits to bring it. Can we get a little bit of run from him? I kind of need him. I can see him there. That's going to be a good move. Get the first touch. Ah, probably. Should have took maybe one more touch. Got it out of his feet a little bit more. But that's going to be where I would kind of utilize him more in that center mid. Not that I would go for too many of them shots as... You're looking at a one in a million. Like There's only so many times that genuinely goes in and, and you are trying to get it and, and kind of nullify the chances. So you want it where it's you're almost guaranteed a, a goal every single time. That's going to be the biggest thing. So not necessarily shooting with him isn't the worst thing in the world. It's He's utilized for the assist more than anything. Oh, finds his left foot. Casillas with a big save looking... For that opening, if we could have found it, found it, <laughs> found it. Oh, good ball, touch, love it, finesse. Oh, maybe should have took a touch again. I thought he might have had it. He is coming in at about 4.30 as well in terms of price. So pretty much just 10, 20k more than what Alvarez was. I, I thought Alvarez was a little bit more expensive, uh, a little bit cheaper, but apparently very, very similar. So for 400,000 with the fodder that we're going to be getting this week, I, honestly, I'd say he's 100% worth it just off that alone. If, if he was coming in like 800 to a mil, I'd be like, I'd, I'd be questioning it because... We're going to have a lot of good SBCs come in and a lot of icons, a lot of different stuff as we go throughout the weeks, kind of blowing everything on one SBC, even if it is very easy to grind the fodder at the moment, especially with team, uh, team of the season duplicates. Like we saw what Watkins is like 40, 30, no, I think like 50, 60K and he's a 93 rated like that. That already puts you at that level when we're looking at 86s. That's just not going to be a question to actually finish them. Oh, how unlucky. Even he stood still. He knew that that, that should have been in. <coughs> oh, great turn. Good push forward. Looking for Sammy Kerr. We're going to try and find her off that first touch. Bring him back to Odengar. Look for the straight shot. Casillas with a big save again. He's, he's going to let one in eventually. Good touch. Those step overs. 
Drag it. Uh, he's, he didn't change player. I expected him to change and the change never came. Good touch. How's your touch, Odengard? There it is. Oh, reverse Elastico. I was hoping for the touch. Oh my god, we're going into danger. Lovely. Looking for the fake into the left-hand side. We've got it back live. It's still live. Pass. Odengard, look for the pass. Ah, he's got it away again. Good interception. See where we can go with it. He's looking for that run. We're not looking for the run. We're looking for the opponent tackling me. So going into the overall form then. In terms of a card, I, th I think price-wise, he makes sense. When we're looking at the difference between, obviously, someone like a Havertz himself, then kind of into the Foden debate to some extent, I don't think you could compare him too much to Rice and Rodri as they're kind of very much more defensive. So it would be the Foden, Havertz, and obviously himself, maybe even tricking McAllister as well. I think they would be the perfect ones to kind of put him against. In terms of price as well, when we look at Havertz, we kind of assume that he's going to get both upgrades, just purely on the fact that they've only got to get one more goal and I think they've already got the wins. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty... They'll, they will get both. I can't see them not. So that is a, a kind of a granted there. Then obviously with Odengard, we've got him coming in at a tenth for the price of both of them. He's about 430. We'll show you in a second. So we've got a million and a little bit for Havertz, which is a live card that is going to go to 94. If you're an Arsenal fan, then you're absolutely laughing for a midfield. Foden, on the other hand, I would say personally from my experience with all three of these cards, Foden is the best out of three of them, which would be explained, the fact that he is 2.8 mil on the market. That makes sense to me, but he is phenomenal on the dribble, but they do offer a different zone, each of them. Now, Odengard and Foden both have Tiki Taka. We've got pinged pass on, obviously, Havertz as well. They've all got, well, no, Havertz and Foden have technical, whereas we've only got two passing and a shooting for Odengard. We've got the same shooting for the other two as well. So it is predominantly the technical that is being changed by the incisive pass. Now, in terms of a midfielder, I would personally go with Odengard on that fact. I don't really use technical too much and I most definitely don't use technical with a midfielder who I'm trying to push the ball up a little bit, but I'm not necessarily going all out sprints for him. So it works in, in so many different ways. Like if you do use technical for your cam, your center mid, then obviously you're going to be looking at more Havertz Foden for that fact. Whereas I am much more on the passing front when it comes to a midfielder, then getting into the positions of shooting is much better. I would prefer to pass it out wide, pass it to my strikers, and utilize the rapid plus rather than the technical. But I have seen a lot of people using technical recently in and around the midfield as well. More through on goal, but mainly coming through that halfway line. So it is a factor to take in. So in terms of price for the rating, you're obviously going to go for Odengard, 940,000. But when you look at the, the difference in stats, yes, these two have a little bit more on that pace ability. Shooting is very similar bar from Havertz. Passing all three of them are, are fantastic. Same as dribbling. Obviously with Foden 96, 94 for Odengard and Havertz will have an upgrade as well. So that's always to take into consideration. He more than likely will have, if we say double upgrade on everything, 96 pace, 85 shooting, 95 four passing 94 uh, dribbling whereas when it comes to the dribble uh, the defending side Havertz is way better 91 and 89 that could be 92 93 and 91 that is going to be sensational for a card so Havertz with the prospects of his rating looks like he could be the best box to box more than anything Foden would be my cam and Odengard would definitely be the cheaper one out of the three of them and as you can see the SBC currently coming in at 430 which may be a little bit more with the 86 but I can't see the 86 being more than say like 20k at an absolute maximum so we're looking at about 450 at an absolute maximum there I think he's fantastic people are obviously going to go with the hunter the engine or potentially an anchor to kind of push him forward the hunter is going to be really good for the, the the kind of cam aspect of him get even bigger pace bonus bit more shooting whereas obviously when we look at the engine he's just getting a bit more agility balance looking towards more of that center mid still and then the anchor would be more of a defensive as much as it could make a difference at least you get a bit of pace defending and physical. So let me know down below what you think about him and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.